When we do this, we remember God is love. Great job, you guys are pros. <laughs> God, Perpetua and Felicity loved and supported each other through pregnancy, childbirth, imprisonment, and violent death. Help us support each other in times of need, and let us choose the health and well-being of the world's women and children rather than war and violence as a means to achieve political ends. Perpetua and Felicity were actually martyred in Carthage, in northern Africa, but Perpetua's prison diaries is one of the oldest writings by a woman that we have. As they were led through the gates, they were ordered to put on different clothes. The men, those priests of Saturn, the women, those priests of Ceres. But Perpetua resisted to the end. She said, we've come this far voluntarily in order to protect our rights, and we've pledged our lives not to recapitulate on any such matter as this. And the guards conceded. Perhaps it was that so great a woman could not be slain had she herself not willed it. Does anyone have a brief reflection that you would like to share with the rest of the group? I was thinking of martyr, martyrs of conscience, the women who have presented themselves for ordination, the men who have supported them, uh, Sister Joan Chittister who refuses to speak anything but her own truth, and they have given their lives uh, in, in a different way, but I think we need to keep them in our you know, thoughts and prayers too. God, you help Perpetua find courage by guiding her in her dreams. Let us not be afraid to discover your guidance in spiritual companioning and in our dreams and visions. In this way, there will be new examples of courage, witnessing to the fact that even in our day, that same Holy Spirit is present. Amen, sisters. Amen. <laughs>